about learning how to give and receive. Being open to receive and being generous to give. And if you really discover the power of that, of course you are going to behave in a totally different way. And this is going to be the base of something like an ethical idea. Okay? If you put, make something light in this direction, something light is going to return back to you. Usually in large. But if you do something heavy in that direction, something heavy is going to return back anyway. And in large, usually. Okay? And it creates a perspective in life in which you start to be more aware about yourself and you start to take responsibility for the things you do. And you start to refine your intentions too, because your intentions are what create the life of the Reciprocity is an idea which is extremely useful for personal growth. It is a way of interchange, but it doesn't consider just one person interchanging with you. The point of view of the tradition is that you have a continuous interchange with the whole universe. Of course, through some specific persons, through some specific places, through certain specific connections that are in reality, but you as a person, unique as you are, you can create a relationship with the whole universe. Uh, for us, there is no something like negative living energy. This is unthinkable. It is living energy. It cannot be negative. So this chair is not just a chair. It has some energy. This room is not just a room. It has some energy. And you can perceive it and you can relate it. Everything around you in this way, you can create a more harmonic way. And a more harmonic way to relate with things. As you know, the Incas are a tradition which is deeply connected to the earth, really deeply connected with agriculture and natural processes. So for our relating with our personal power, you, we use the metaphor of the seed, which is the container of all the human potential. It is like in a plant. So this seed is a drop of perfection inside yourself. We are very grounded. And the spiritual powers, the spiritual qualities are related with places. All those things for us are wakas, but are tangible objects. Objects. Okay? To say here, Lord, if you want to be a politician, you go to the statue of Oliver Cromwell and you pull the energy. <laughs> okay? Sounds a little strange for us. But it's an example about how we deal with sacred places. Well, if you want to be a scientist, go to the place in which is buried Isaac Newton and you generally physical. Very nice. 